So in this video, we'll look at how we can find the area of certain region which is bounded by some parametric curves. And we have to recall some basics, how we find the area of a region if it is bounded by a curve, which is presented by using y equals f of x. And please look at this problem. So please look at the current picture, the purple region, which is shaded. It is bounded by the x-axis and the curve y equals big f of x. And from the point x equals a to the point x equals b, right? If you recall this fact, I mean, uh, we have learned this already. The area for such a picture is the same as an integral from a to b for the function big F dx, right? And we have learned it already. And the fact is that um, this one is the same as the y variable, right? Or the other way to put it, we can call it the area element, which is um y times dx for this current case. And let's look at another picture. So now please look at the second picture now. There's a shaded purple part. It is bounded by the curve. Uh, let's say I present this curve in terms of x equals big G of y. And um, if you have a curve equation like this, and I'm asking for the area bounded by this curve and the points y equals a and y equals b on the y-axis, and the area of this problem is actually conceptually the same as um, the top picture, but because now the integration is along the y-axis from a to b, and you have to integrate the function big G of y. And that's basically the way you find the area if you're given a picture like this. And please recall that in this current situation, the area element, because this one is basically the variable x, the area element is actually the same as x times dy, right? And of course, precisely speaking, these two pictures are not the same, right? And that's why the area element you have, they are not the same at all. So um, now let's look at the current case. We have a parametric curve. How to write down the area element of the corresponding picture? So please take a look here. So let's say now if you have a curve like this, let's say it is the parametric curve um, for certain situation, and let's say I would like to find the area bounded by the parametric curve and also the x-axis. So can you tell me uh, how to write the area formula down? And I think um, we can borrow something we learned here. You see this y times dx is what we call the area element. And in this case, because it really looks like you are trying to integrate along a and b as before. So um, I think it should be a dx integration like this. And it means uh, we have to use the same every element, y times dx. But because um, we don't have the equation y equals f of x, so uh, we have to make use of this. So basically, for the parametric curve, we have the small f of t times d, small g of t, right? And of course, this one just means the derivative of g. So basically, that's the area element we look at for a certain curve like this. And if you try to write the area formula down based on this, I think basically you have to integrate along the variable t for this expression f times g prime. And you see the lower point and the upper point are basically the starting point. This point is for, uh, let's say, t equals t naught. This point is for t equals t1. And um, you can just integrate like this. However, in general, it is not that easy to sketch this curve. It would be important if you try to use the absolute value to include um, the quantity you have inside this uh, curve. And let's look at another situation. So let's look at the second picture here. You see this case is similar to the second picture on the bottom left we have seen before. So we have to use the every element x times dy. And uh, similar to this, now we are actually getting um, g times f prime times dt as the area element in this case. And the area, we can write it by using the absolute value sign for the integral from t0 to t1 for this uh, g times f prime times dt. And once again, uh, we may not know the curve that well. We don't know whether this situation is correct or this one unless we sketch it precisely, but anyway, the point is that we have used the absolute value sign already, so it should be fine. And maybe this point is t equals t dot, which is the point uh, that touch a point the y-axis. This is the second point that you touch the y-axis again. Let's say this point is t equals t1. 
and if you use this formula basically you can find the area uh, same as before when you saw the curve as a function of x for the y variable anyway let's look at some example now so please look at the current problem now i'm asking for the area formula for the region bounded by the curve and the x-axis and you can try to imagine what kind of things you're getting. Maybe you're getting a curve like this. The meaning of the region bounded by the curve and the x-axis, right? Or, of course, it can be the other way. But it doesn't bother us that much. And um, we can just use the absolute value sign to represent our area formula. And it's an integration for the variable t. And if you recall something, you see this uh, t0 and t1 depends on the cut point on the x-axis for the curve to touch the x-axis two times. We, it means what? It means we can set the y-coordinate be zero, right? If you set it be zero, hopefully we can get the value of t such that y is zero. And that's exactly the x-intercept of the curve on the x-axis and uh, less of it. So we set the y be zero, which means minus t squared plus three t is zero. And I trust that you're able to solve this problem. T is actually zero or three, which means um, it's good because we have values of T such that it touched the um, X axis again. So obviously we can just do the integration from zero to three. And the inside is what? If you recall from the previous page, the area element is y times dx in this case, so um, it essentially means I can use y to be minus t squared plus 3t, right? And dx is what? And x is uh, this one. dx, you have to differentiate it with respect to t, I think. Uh, this is uh, 3t squared plus 4. That's the derivative for x with respect to t. And um, that's basically the area formula we have. And I trust that you're able to finish this computation. And uh, let's look at another one. So please look at the given curve here, uh, presented as a parametric form. I would like to find the area formula of the region bounded by the curve and the y-axis. And please note that um, you can imagine the curve to be either this way or the other way like this. And um, in any way, we have to find the cut point for the curve to cut along the y-axis. These are called the y-intercept, right? And to find the y-intercept, we can actually set x be 0. And um, it means that t squared plus 4t is 0, which means that I trust that you can find the t, which is 0 or minus 4. And it's good that there are only two cut points on the y axis for this curve and these are the two points exactly corresponding to two points like this when the t is zero or t is minus four so let's write down the area formula so to play safe we don't know which picture is correct and we can just take the absolute value of the answer we get from the definite integral which is an integral for the t and the lower and upper limit we can just put it like uh, minus four to zero and let's look at what is the content inside the integral. And we have noted earlier in this video that in this case, the area element should be x times dy, right? And let's write it down based on what we have. x is basically t squared plus 4t times something. And this basically means dy, and which means you have to um, differentiate the function for the y with respect to variable t. So we get that it's 5t to the power 4 plus 5, right? And this part is for the y prime uh, with respect to variable t. And that's basically the end to this area formula. And that's the end to this video also.